Having discovered I needed a 24 second audio track, I knew a visit to Adobe Audition CC was in order. Before I start walking you through this, it is important for you to understand that Audition is a pro-grade audio editing tool, and I felt using it to do something rather simple like this was like using an atom bomb to light my barbecue. But you use what you have. I had an AIF version of the track, which I had trimmed down from 14 minutes to approximately one minute. I then scrubbed through the clip to find the point where Miles' trumpet comes in, which is just around here at the 35 second mark. Right there. I wanted to fade in the audio to that point and decided to fade the clip in over two seconds, which meant I could trim off approximately 30 seconds of this clip. So I just pulled the playhead back to a couple of seconds, clicked once in the waveform, and then just scrubbed across and pressed the delete key, and it was gone. Now I knew that Miles' trumpet would come in just around here. So I could fade this in over about two and a half seconds or so. To do that, I selected the Fade In tool and then dragged it down. As you can see, as you drag down. And I realized that was a little bit too much, so I just brought it out a little bit more to about the two second mark. And let's see how that sounds. Beautiful. Now I needed 24 seconds of audio, so I'm here at around two seconds, and if I pull the playhead over to the 24 second mark, or just click on it, I could then just select the back end that I didn't need, and again press the delete key to get rid of what I didn't need. And then using the fade out tool, I could do the same thing I did with the fade in, and do that over two seconds. So now I had a 24 second clip. So let's see how that sounded. Perfect. Now that I have my clip, I had to get it out of here. Thanks to the fact media management in HTML5 has been left to the mercy of the browsers, I needed two versions of this clip. One was the MP3 that would play in Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer. The other was an OGG version that would play in Firefox, Chrome, and Opera. This was easily accomplished. I selected File, Export, File, and all I had to do was go to the format, and there's my AUG, and there's my MP3. So I saw the first version was the MP3. So once I chose the MP3, I had to figure out where to stick it. I'm going to stick it in my research folder. And I could choose the sample type. I chose the 22050 kilohertz, which is an OK standard for MP3s. Uh, this was going to be played on the web, didn't need a, a stereo, so I thought, what the hell, go with mono. And of course, the bit depth, I took it down to 24 bits. Click OK. Got my file. Click OK. And I'm being warned that there's going to be a quality loss. That's no big deal. So I'll click Yes. And the file is saved. So now I do my second export. Export file. Again, I want the uh, OGG version of it. And it's 22050 kilohertz, mono 24 bit. Same sort of uh, sample as the uh, MP3. It's got the odd container. This is fine. I want the quality at 100%, you betcha. And I just click OK. And again, this is lossy, so and again I had to say, yeah, no problem. Click yes, and my files were created. In the next video, we're going to take a look at actually getting these files to play in the Animate composition. I'll see you there.